Hello again, this is Matthew Ibera with the Celeste Painted Team at Sotheby's International Realty. And today we're interviewing somebody's darling on 1st Ave and 87th Street. All right, man, well, thanks for having me in today. Um, my first question is, who are you and what do you do? My name is uh, Tara Rock. Uh, I've been uh, working in the Upper East Side 10 years now at Biddy's Pub. I took over Biddy's Pub in 2019 with uh, my two partners, Barry and JJ. Uh, we've done very well for ourselves and thankfully we opened up Somebody's Darling here on 87th and 1st and Biddy's Pub is on uh, 92nd, 91st and 2nd. So how about you tell me a little bit about your bar here. It's clearly an Irish pub, but tell me a little bit about it. Uh, we opened it up uh, November, just the weekend uh, of the marathon last year. Uh, we rushed to get it open, like I, we slept here overnight to get it open. And uh, we opened up that weekend and it was great. Um, so we've been going on now eight months and uh, working with the community and uh, I have good ties with the community with already having biddies, it's been there for ten years and I, I and it's only six blocks away, you know. Um, so I, I love our community and I love doing stuff for, we do dance parties for the locals and uh, we do pop-up markets for local businesses uh, every six, eight, eight weeks on Sundays. We bring in eight to ten local businesses, uh, places that don't have a storefront, like have an Etsy shop and stuff like that, and just independent that a few Instagram accounts around here have the Upper East Side swag. So we bring them in every eight weeks. It's a great community thing where we get ten people under one roof and we bring everyone in, we invite everyone in to come support our local local businesses, you know? Yeah, that's awesome, and you know, I would say that that's like a pretty unique feature. I feel like other bars don't really do that, right? Yeah, I, I see, well, like it's, it, it's, it's a space thing, you know? Like, it's very hard for people to do, especially we're lucky enough that we don't serve food here, so we don't get that brunch crowd, we don't get that lunch crowd, so it doesn't really affect us. So we can take all the chairs and tables out of here, and it's perfect. People are just walking around and stuff like that, especially our dance parties. We empty the room of our tables and chairs, and we can just bring more people and more, more feel. We don't have that dining feel, you know. We don't serve food at either location. And also, we allow people to bring their dogs in, because right. we know... I saw some up front. Yeah, we have, right now, I think we have four dogs in the building right now. All friendly dogs, like, you know, all great dogs. We have dog treats here. We give them out. Uh, we love to have dogs in our bar. That's another thing that not many bars do around here. And I understand because they have food and people don't like having dogs around when they're eating a nice meal at an Italian or Italian or French restaurant, you know. So we don't have that. So we're more casual. Just come in, have a drink with your friends, hang out, play some games. We have good music. You know, we have good, we have great staff, you know, like, so we just like that feel, you know. Yeah, and I feel like I, I would also want to be, like, I would also want to have that element of comfort. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, um, we, 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 we love to make our customers feel comfortable. We love, uh, we, make, we love to make the women in the area feel safe. We have a zero tolerance policy on any bullying or intimidation or just, we, we don't like those sort of people. We, uh, I've been around 10 years, so I'm lucky enough to know who the bad guys in the area are, the bad girls. And like, no, no, one, no one's bad, but everyone has their moments, and we don't, we don't like that. We don't like that to happen. You know, we like to make everyone feel very comfortable and safe in in in, in their local. You know, my next question for you is, uh, what would be your uh, message to your local community? You've been talking about community a lot, and right now, what would you say to the people who are around? I I think I think it's we've come so far since 2020. You know. Um, I was lucky enough that I, I only closed my doors for one day last year. I, 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 I turned it into a little to-go and delivery service. Like, just to reach out to our, our, we have a lot of regular customers, you know. So, like, people want to get that, that, that Biddy's Pub feel, that somebody's darling feel. We want to, we, we, will, we will go above and beyond for our customers, you know. We delivered, you know, 20, 30 times every night, you know, to, to people in the area from 60th Street to 110th Street, you know, yeah. the whole way up into Harlem, wow. because we, we want to be there, we, we want to support, we want to be there, we, 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 we don't, but thankfully, the Upper East Side is just booming now, you know, we have yeah. so many businesses, in 2020 there was a whole blocks of empty businesses and empty neighborhoods and people were leaving the city and it was a very dark time, but now every business is, everyone has a storefront, 
there's not many storefronts for lease now, you know. It's very hard to get a business and, it's, and, and, and the rents are a bit high now because the economy is booming in the Upper East Side and that's great. We are lucky enough to, to be here now for another, we, have, we locked into a long lease. Fiddy's Pub is there till 2030, so we're, we're here for a while, like, you know, so I'd love to see the Upper East Side booming. Every, all the businesses are booming. The upper, we, everyone has the outdoor restaurants now, which is great, and I think they're going to lock that in permanently. Uh, as of next year, yeah. uh, so that's great because like, it, it offers a outside feel as well. Like you know, I don't have an outdoor thing here, but I have an outdoor hut over at Biddy's Pub, and it's tri- it's double our size, you know, which is great. You know, we can offer more comfortability to our customers. You know, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Well, it's good to hear that uh, the Upper East Side is doing well, and that both your locations are doing well also. Um, well, I've got one more question for you, and that is, you personally, uh, what's your favorite thing to do in New York City? My favorite thing to do, I like to take in the odd sports game, I like, or a concert. I like to go to, like, the Mets, I try and go once or twice a month, or, you know, when the football season's on, I'll try and tip over to a Jets or a Giants game, you know. Every, everywhere's a great feel, and you know, I'll even go to a Yankees game the odd time when they're playing the Mets, though, you know. So I would never go to a Yankees game solo unless I got free tickets, like, but, and, like, free food and free beer, like, you know. But I would go to, I've been to World, uh, World Series games for the Yankees because they're in more of them than the Mets, so. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, I like to take in concerts. I don't get much free time, you know. I, I also love my time at home on the couch with the PlayStation and Grub Hope being brought to me. I, I love that, too, so. Yeah, no, I'm happy doing anything. I, I love I love to work, though, so I'll, I'll keep on doing that for a while. Awesome, brother. Well, thanks so much for having me in, man. It was great to meet you. Check out Somebody's Darling.